Hey guys, it's me again, Zoe, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with cadavers. So if you don't know what cadavers are, cadavers are actually corpses or bodies of people who dedicated their bodies for science, for medical students like me, so that we may be able to study them. So I'm going to talk to you about my first experience and my continual, my continual, sorry, my other experiences. So I will never forget my first experience with a cadaver and the first night after and anyway, I'll get to the story. So I remember when we entered our anatomy lab, I saw like lines of rows and columns of these silver tables. Like they're, they look like silver tables, but with like something inside. So like silver boxes that look like tables. Anyway, I saw my fellow classmates in their um, anatomy lab uniform which was like scrubs and then I saw my professors which they were all in front they were all gathering us to get ready and they even explained what we were going to do for that day so for that day for my first time experiencing or seeing a cadaver we were going to skin them we had to remove the skin of the upper body of the cadaver so that we can study the muscles so we had to remove the skin the fat the fascia and everything to expose the muscles and there it was as I remember people opening up those silver tables and I saw everybody pushing down these contraption like because we our tables had like these contraptions where if you pull down um, the body that was sunk in um, formalin will start to rise up. So I remember when I actually helped in pulling those pushing those down and when we pushed down those levers, the body started to rise. And I remember looking around it was such an eerie feeling. I was really like, I don't know, I couldn't explain what I was feeling at that moment. It's like, I felt like so many things were happening at one time and so many, I could hear the sound of just water psh, like spraying or just falling out of those bodies where they came from, where they were submerged. And then I saw the face of our cadaver. He was a male, a thin male. He looked very young. And at that moment, I already felt sad, like, he passed away at such a young age but and now he's here and i i just remember i was like feeling super overwhelmed i i was scared i was I, and i'm a scaredy cat like i get scared at so many things i can even barely like sleep alone without panicking all the time so yeah i started i looked at the body and my hands were shaking but i was holding them like pressing like trying to put my hands in the fist and then I was like, okay, Zoe, if you want, at that time I wanted to be a surgeon. So I was like, okay, Zoe, if you want to be a surgeon, you have to be able to do this. You have to be able to overcome your fear. So I pushed myself. I, I told myself to just get it over with, to do it, to not think about it. But I couldn't help myself. I kept looking at the face of the cadaver and I was like feeling bad for this guy or feeling scared that maybe he would haunt me or something. But I, but before we started my group and every group we were all told to pray for the body so we prayed for the body and we prayed for his soul that he may rest in peace and that he may allow us to uh, use his body for our own knowledge so that we may learn more about the human body and so yeah i grabbed the scalpel and i grabbed the forceps and i started skinning the body felt like leather the skin felt so leathery like it was so hard like it was a weird feeling because i've just i've dissected a cat in my biology class in my undergrad but it was so different when you were cutting off skin like you would see that rubbery look when you started to lift it and and all those gooey fats and everything and it was just so different i remember just being like so overwhelmed so as keeping in mind that, yeah, this, I'm practicing on a dead body and it just <laughs> freaked me out a lot. Anyway, the night, the same night, the same day, at night, when I went to bed, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, I couldn't stop thinking about our first time and the many bodies that I seen and I felt bad about it and I was just, I had a hard time falling asleep and I have no roommates so, it was really hard for me to fall asleep. I was really scared and I kept praying and hoping that I will have no nightmares and I'll be safe. And so, yeah, I went to sleep. And then I heard something, like I heard something from near my door. 
and I gave my friends like copies of my room keys so I thought maybe it was one of my friends so like I remember getting up and I shouted like I, I was shouting my friend's name I was like hello are you there and there was no one and I looked forward and I saw my window and my blinds were open and I was like why are my blinds open I always close my blinds I'm such a scaredy cat I don't want my blinds open at all so I stood up to close it right and as I sat I stood up to close the blinds I saw him I saw the face of my cadaver staring at me from the reflection of the window and then I could just see him just looking straight at me and I was so scared I, I yelled I I shouted and then that's when I realized I was dreaming I had my first nightmare in med school and my first nightmare was about my cadaver it was a horrible horrible I remember I got up screaming and I woke up crying and I called my mom and I told her what about my dream and that I was so scared and everything and oh, just just made me even more scared for our next dissection we had another dissection that same week and I, I remember telling my friends about it and a, a lot of my other friends they also had like nightmares that night like I had this other friend who he couldn't recognize he had like in his dream somebody was knocking on his door and told him to come with him and he'll make life easier and he couldn't tell who the person was but it, he said he recognized it as probably one of the other faces he saw in the lab and I was just all freaked out I was like oh my gosh this is so scary are we doing the wrong thing and and then I, yeah so I had like so much fears and anxiety about it and I was really worried and in our next dissection I saw the face of the guy again that we were dis my group's that cadaver and I I really prayed I was like really asking him like asking God to give me strength to dissect and to remove the fears that I have and to please bless this man that he may his soul may find peace and that we're really grateful that we can use his body to learn more about the human body and slowly I started getting over my fear like that night I didn't have any nightmares and the, the, actually the succeeding nights after that like after I started really praying and started to like make sure that I always respected the body that I was dissecting like I would always tell him like in my mind I'd say thank you sir for giving your body thank you so much I I know I hope you know that I will put this to good use that in the future I really want to help people of our country and I I never got nightmares anymore he never haunted me in my dreams and I was able to slowly push myself to get used to it and after the third fourth fifth dissection I was actually already getting the hang of dissecting and uh, the more I started to learn anatomy the more I started to get over my fear and it started to be easier for me so yeah I believe that um, uh, the first experience is always um, scary or traumatic maybe for some people like me who are scary cat but I think that you can get over it as long as you remember to respect the body of the person to respect your cadaver and to make sure that you're actually at peace with yourself also because I think I had nightmares that first night because I was scared and always thinking about it thinking that I was doing something wrong and thinking that I was going to be haunted but then when I realized that I wasn't disrespecting his body I was actually dissecting his body so that I can help people in the future and that he's actually giving such a great service and sacrifice by allowing med students to dissect his body when I started to accept that what I was doing was actually right and it wasn't wrong and I and that's when I started to lose the fear like I knew that I wouldn't be haunted anymore because I'm sure that this person understands that what we're doing to him our dissection is for the good of many people I'm sorry I'm rambling I just really can't forget that first experience so yeah that was my experience with cadaver in my first year and I'm actually going to be able to dissect a cadaver again this summer actually volunteered hopefully i'll be able to vlog about that but yeah this is my experience and some few things i want to share if you want to know more about my different experiences or if you have any questions or any recommendations of what i should vlog about or what should i talk about just let me know oh yeah and if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button what are you waiting for <laughs> bye